What's going on everyone? I hope your day is going well. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm featuring a new product that was recently sent to me. It's called the Neoblade. Now, when I was first contacted by the company, I had no idea what a sonic cutter even was or have I ever heard of one. I also didn't know anything about the brand behind it. But after checking them out, I found that they offer some great products and come across as a very professional company, so I accepted the sponsorship. I've recently gotten back into resin printing. If you saw my recent videos comparing a resin printer to an FDM printer, you know what I'm talking about. Since the Neoblade claims to make support removal a lot easier, I figured the timing was perfect. Why not give it a try and see if it lives up to its claim? When the product arrived, I was honestly impressed with the packaging. It felt a lot like unboxing a Google or Apple product. Each item had its own space and the accessories were very nicely organized. Funny enough though, they didn't include a power block, just like Samsung and Apple have started doing. Once everything was unboxed, the first thing I did was put the device on the charger. I don't know about you, but anytime I get something battery powered, I have to fully charge it before using it. Anyone else do that or is that just me? Anyways, right away I noticed that it came with an extra battery. And that's huge. One of the most frustrating things about spending $500 to $1000 on a DSLR is getting one battery and one charger. It drives me crazy. So big thumbs up for including a spare. The charger design is super clean and well thought out. One side charges the extra battery and the other side charges the Neoblade itself with that battery and you can charge them both at once. At the $99 price point, here's what you get. The Neoblade unit, the charging cable, and six SK5 blades to get you started. If you're mainly using this for support removal, you probably won't need to change the blade that often. But it's compatible with most 9mm 30 degree snap-off blades. These are made from SK5 high carbon steel, and they recommend using them for the best performance. They're sharper and they tend to last a lot longer. Let's start with how it performs on resin support removal. As you can see, it does a great job cutting away intricate supports. The heated blade slices right through them. It's clearly optimized for precision and control, which is exactly what we need as makers. Now I don't have a ton of experience with resin support removal, but compared to using a regular hobby knife, this is much smoother. But when it comes to FDM support removal, I still prefer my wood chisel. The Neoblade didn't feel as effective for those, at least in my case. That said, there are a couple things I think could be improved in the next gen version of this product. First, the size. While it might be the smallest ultrasonic cutter on the market right now, it's still pretty bulky. After using it for a while, my hand started to get tired. I had to take a couple short breaks and that's just something I don't usually deal with when using a regular blade. Second, the blade length. The standard blade is quite short, which makes it tough to reach in those small spots that the handle blade could easily access. Now with that said, I did find a longer blade in the pack that would have worked better for those tricky spots. I'll just have to remember that for next time. Now let's talk about a practical use case that caught me off guard my sliding glass door project. Over the last four years, we've been renovating a fixer upper that we bought. And this weekend, the new sliding door finally arrived. When it came time to install it, I noticed that it had a vinyl lip along the bottom. That lip is meant for doorways that have a bottom frame, but in my case, it had to come off. My first instinct was to grab a regular box cutter and try to slice it right off, but that didn't work so well, especially when getting the initial cut started. Then I remembered I had the Neo blade. I went ahead and gave it a shot, heated up the blade, and applied light pressure, and it sliced right through the vinyl like butter. No force needed. The job got way easier instantly. Once I got the first cut started with the Neoblade, I was able to switch back to the box cutter and finish it up. But without that initial help, the whole process would have taken a lot longer. Definitely a win for the Neoblade on this one. Let's get into what makes the Neoblade tick, and why it actually works so well. It uses a 40 kHz ultrasonic vibration to slice through materials. That means you don't need to apply tons of pressure. The vibration does all the work. It also auto adjusts based on what you're cutting, whether it's resin, PLA, ABS, carbon fiber, or other materials. That adaptability is a huge plus. You get two cutting modes, one for precision and one for continuous cutting. The turbo dock feature allows for fast cutting, and there's also a built-in fan that helps keep the blade cool during long cuts. That feature alone helps reduce wear on the blade and improve safety. It's fully cordless and wireless, which makes for a cleaner workspace. Now, just to be clear, it's not going to cut everything. Now to finish this video off, let's go ahead and talk about the price because honestly, it caught me off guard. To put that in perspective, even the more basic ones with non-replaceable batteries are usually 150 or more. So for a fully featured cutter with replaceable batteries, a charging dock and premium blades, the Neoblade is by far the most affordable option I've seen in this space. If you're thinking about backing the Kickstarter, the production is expected to begin shortly after the campaign ends, with an estimated shipping time of around August 2025, and I'll leave a link down below. 
I hope that this tool is giving you some new insight on a great tool that is hitting the market soon. Again, I hope you're having a great day and as always, happy printing.